everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! This is my first video of 2019 and as you can probably tell it's going to be completely different to what I usually shoot on this channel. Um, usually I film daily or weekend vlogs um, but I thought why not give something else a go? So today I'm shooting a What I Got For Christmas video. I absolutely love watching these. I don't know why, I think I'm just nosy. Well no, I know I'm nosy. Um, that's probably why I like it so much. So I thought, why not create one of my own? So yeah, this is really exciting. I thought I'd put a quick disclaimer out before I get started that this is 100% not a braggy video. It's not a look at the amount of stuff I got for Christmas, look at all this, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing like that at all. Um, I know that some people may feel that. I don't know. Um, hopefully you will enjoy it. Um, but you don't have to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, you can just close this browser down right now and be done. That's fine. <laughs> um, but hopefully, yeah, you do want to watch it and that's why you clicked on it in the first place. So, yeah, let's get started. I'll start with what my sister Emily got me. Um, and <laughs> she knows me very well. Basically, long story short, I find it right pain in the bum to clean my makeup brushes. It's the worst job in the world. So she got me a Real Techniques cleaning or cleansing palette, which is so, so handy. And to go, to go with it, a brush cleansing gel. Um, so I really do need to start cleaning my brushes properly. Oops. So thank you, Emily. That's really, really handy. And I'll definitely be using that. Um, <laughs> she knows me too well. Um, Harry's sister, Molly. I love this present. This is so thoughtful. It's called Letters to Myself. I don't know if you can see that, but Letters to Myself it's called. And basically what it is, is you put pen to paper and capture your life in letters, be inspired by the prompts for each letter, seal your envelope and set yourself a date in the future when to open it. Um, so for example, we've got, it is one year from now and I am, dot, dot, dot. We've got, I am grateful for, um, the highlight of this year so far, dot dot dot. So that is a really, really, really thoughtful present and I'm really excited to start using these. Um, I think with all the changes that's going to be happening, like me and Harry buying our first house, I think it's going to be such a good present to start writing now and then see how much my life changes in a few years. So that was really thoughtful, I love that. From one of my auntie and uncles, we have got a Harry Potter trivial pursuit! Yay! I'm so excited about this! So I'm a big Potter head and I love Harry Potter so much um, and they actually wrote on the tag uh, I saw this and thought of you straight away or something and I love it, it's just great. I've not opened it yet, I've not played it yet but I feel like it's as much fun as it is going to be I feel like I'm just going to win so I feel like I need to find some better players than my family to play this with so Hit me up if you like Harry Potter and you want to have a game of Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit because I need some real challenge here. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Um, and something else from the same auntie and uncle is this luxury lash set. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's so lovely. It's by True Beauty. I've not actually heard of this brand before, um, but it's amazing. This set, it comes with eight pairs of handmade faux mink lashes. And for someone that loves beauty and makeup so much, this is just a really, really good present. So inside, I can open it. Um, there's two pairs of lashes in this little mirror compact here. And some glue. Sort of need the glue. And I've got in this little pull-out drawer some more eyelashes. There's a pair missing because I already wore a pair on New Year's Eve. Um, we've got the bold lashes for night out classic lashes, the daytime darling and wake up and make up demi lashes and demi lashes are what I wore on New Year's Eve and um, they're really really lovely I just I love fake lashes so much so that was just a really good present as well um what have we got next from a really good family friend I got a woodwick candle and this was actually for me and Harry together because we went round theirs just before Christmas, I think it was, and saw that they had one burning, and we love them. We saw them in boots. We've never had one before. 
um, but we just love the idea of them because they crackle like a real fire so they smell delicious but crackle like a real fire as well so it's just really really lovely they got me fireside so it smells amazing so good and yeah they just know that when we get our house we are going to love to burn this so I'm so excited but I'm waiting I'm not going to burn it yet I'm going to wait however long it may take how many months it may take I'm going to wait and burn it then in our actual house on the same topic or on the same gift I should say Harry also got me the fireside woodwick candle is it yeah fireside woodwick candle um, but he got me the bigger version, which lights up all along here, so that's really, really lovely. He knows me too well, and so do our friends, because they obviously knew we wanted that. Um, but that's going to be brilliant, because when we get our house, we will be able to have both of these on in two different rooms, and it will just smell lovely throughout, so I'm really, really chuffed about that. Also, when you get nice candles like these, I'm always a bit scared to burn them because I don't want to, like, waste them. So now I've got two, I'll actually burn them and not be scared to use them up. <laughs> so that was really good. One present from my parents was this really, really nice Ralph Lauren for women perfume set. Um, these are really handy and she actually did say to me that the reason why she got these is because they were handbag size. I already have quite a few perfumes but the only one I've got it here actually I'll show you the only one I tend to use when I go out is this Jo Malone um one because this is the only one I have in handbag size and I'm using it up already I bought it not long ago I'm already getting through it so this is really good because now I can actually try different perfumes and put them in my handbag and not just try and shove a big fat perfume in my handbag because let's face it that's not gonna work so no this is really really nice can't wait to try these I'm not open these yet either Honestly, I'm so bad. It's, what even is the day today? It's the 6th of January and all my presents are just piled like in my room. I've not actually sorted through anything or put anything away yet. Um, I thought I'd get this video done with first. Now I can actually start putting things away and giving them homes. From my grandma and my granddad, they also know me very well. Prosecco made me do it book 60 seriously sparkling cocktails um, I love Prosecco, absolutely love Prosecco If you know me then you know that's my favourite drink So this is just going to be brilliant And it's just so beautiful Look at these illustrations What have we got? Bubbly Jack Rose Ooh, It's so pretty I'm just so excited to try these Sunshine Superman mm, Very nice so yeah, I'll probably have to do some sort of, whenever we get the house, a Prosecco party or drinks or some sort so I can actually try these cocktails out. Um, next we have a, this is from, I've put both my grandparents and my parents money in this, but it was just my parents, they had put um, a load of money in a jar that says follow your dreams on it which is really sweet. Basically this year or actually for the past three years I think, I've not actually asked for anything for Christmas just because if I want something I'll go and buy it. Like me and Harry buy things for each other, we, yeah, we don't really need anything as such. So because I'm going to be buying a house and buying all the furniture and all the stuff like that, she just thought it would be easier just to put money in a jar and then they won't be wasting, not wasting it, but sometimes when you buy presents it might not be something you want or you need so it's a very good idea for them to just put some money in a jar and my grandparents have also done the same I've put theirs in here too so whatever we want when we are looking for a house or buying furniture or furnishings or decor this is going to be my little money pot and whenever I get extra cash or whatever throughout the next year I'm just gonna put it in here because it's just so cute and it's nice to keep it all together so that that's really handy, I love that. Um, and I've saved my favourite present till last. This is also from my parents. It's a Dartington cocktail shaker set. And it's so gorgeous and it's in rose gold. And I love rose gold. 
and it's just so amazing and I can't wait to use this. Um, they did say that they didn't want to buy me loads of things for the house because they wanted us to be able to choose our own things and make our own choices but she said this is the only thing that she knew that I would absolutely be in love with and she's definitely right so I can't wait to use this and I think she also may have bought me this just so that I have to now invite her around and I'm just going to make a load of cocktails and she can just sit back and relax which I'm really happy with that because I don't mind <laughs> it'll just be really fun I just can't wait to use this and it's five piece cocktail shaker set and it's got the big cocktail shaker which says Darkington on it um, a double jigger okay don't actually know what that is I'm guessing it's this weird contraption here I really should get good at my cocktail skills <laughs> Uh, strainer, ice tongs and cocktail spoon. Oh, I get it. A jigger. I think that's the measuring thing. Okay, hang on. Let me pull this up. Okay, I think I've worked out. So this, I think, is the double jigger. I just think it's a measuring contraption. I don't know. Um, strainer, which will be that one. Ice tongs and cocktail spoon at the top. So I'm so excited to use this. I can't wait. I just now think that I need to get one of them cocktail trolley bar things to put everything on and then I'll be all set. So yeah, I'm so excited. I love that so much. It's, yeah, I just feel so happy. That's basically, that's not everything I got for Christmas. There are a load of other bits and bobs, handy bits, like bar things, um, moisturisers and all that that I did get but if I was to film it all it would probably be here for about an hour so I decided to just pick my favourite things from this year so there we go I really hope you enjoyed this video um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you really enjoyed this or if you only a little bit enjoyed it <laughs> subscribe anyway please <laughs> um, and if there's any other videos that you'd like me to make then put them in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye!